for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We bless your name, Lord. Every morning, Father, your mercy is renewed unto us. It is your mercy that keeps us. It is your mercy that sustains us and holds us up. We thank you. We thank you. We bless your name. Father, this morning, we want to lift up our praise and our thanks to you. We want to commit our day to you. We want to commit ourselves to you, Father. Because it is you who hold us. We are kept by your power. We are kept by your grace. We are kept by your mercy. And so we want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that, Father, your dealings with us, Lord, are not based, to Father, on how we deal with you, but purely on your mercy towards us and your love towards us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that you give us your spirit, Lord, to guide us every single day, to guide guide us in every situation. Thank you. We thank you. You have done so much in our life, Lord. You have made so many provisions for us. We thank you. We thank you for your favor which surrounds us as a shield, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for the blood which speaks for us, Lord, which speaks even in places, Lord, where we cannot speak, which speaks in places, Lord, where we do not know our names are mentioned, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you that when we are in a in a hard place, Father, you make a way for us. When it seems like we are stuck, Father, you make a way for us. We thank you. We thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you. In Jesus' name. This morning, Father, we commit our time with you, our time of devotion, Father. We commit it to you in the name of Jesus. And we ask, O oh, Father, that you will guide us. We ask, O oh, Lord, that you lead us by your Spirit. The Bible says that he leads us into all truth. This morning, he will lead us into all truth, even as we come, O oh God, devotedly unto your presence. We thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to go to the scripture in Romans. Chapter 12. We'll start from verse 1. So, I was just looking at the word devotion and what it means. And what it means in my dictionary is devotion is love, loyalty, or enthusiasm for a person or activity. Love, loyalty, or enthusiasm for a person or activity. So you could be devoted to a person or you could be devoted to something that you do all the time. You know. Um, Note that it doesn't say a thing. So we shouldn't be devoted to a thing. But we are devoted to a person or to an activity, something that we do. And to devote, to devote is to give all or most of your time or resources to that person or to that activity. Now in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Please let's go on. We'll just do the second verse and that's it. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, 
that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I think that this this scripture is Paul calling us to a life of devotion, a life of dedication to God. And he says that the action, the activity we should be focused on, the activity we should be passionate about, the activity that we should be um, that we should be enthusiastic about. Um, yeah, I believe everybody understands that, that we should be enthusiastic about is the presentation of our bodies. Is the presentation of our bodies. So our devotion should simply be that we are giving ourselves to God. So our devotion is to God. And the activity that we should be enthusiastic about is constantly giving ourselves to God. Constantly giving ourselves to God. Present yourselves a living sacrifice. This morning, I would like us to pray a little bit. I'd like us to ask our Father in heaven, to his son Jesus, that he will bring us back. He will bring us back. He will bring us back, our focus back to him. He will bring our focus back to him. He will bring our thoughts back to him. He would stir up again enthusiasm in our hearts for him. You want to pray this morning. You want to say, Father, turn me again to come to you. Turn me again to look to you. Turn me again to focus on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Turn me again, oh Father, that you are my, you are the thing that I seek for. You are the, the one that I desire. Turn me again, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. But Father, you are the focus of my love. You are the focus of my affection. You are the focus, of Father, of my seeking. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, turn me again, Father. Turn me again to you. Turn me again, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You see, you may think that, why are we praying this? Because we are already turned to God and we are already focused on Him and we are already looking to Him. But I'm sure that if you look in your life, you'll find many instances where pressures of this life have turned you away from God. And when I say it's turned you away from God, I'm not necessarily saying that it's turned you into sin or into some other activity that you know is not pleasing to God. But it's turned your focus away from Him. So now you're doing things by your own strength and by your own wisdom. You're thinking things through with your own ability. And this is where you want to turn again to God and say, Father, I want to be devoted and dedicated to you in the name of Jesus. I want to present myself to you this morning. Father, my energy, Lord, my thoughts, my focus, Lord, will be you in Jesus' name. Because everything in my life, Lord, stems from you. Everything in my life, Lord, springs from you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask, O oh God, in Jesus' name, that you will turn me again, Father, in your mercy. Turn me again. Turn my focus back to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, where I have, where I have started to do things, to turn to build my own systems, Father, to build my own systems and to turn them, O oh Father, turn the wheels myself, Father, turn me again in the name of the Lord Jesus, that my focus will be on you, O oh God, where I have started, O oh God, to even work out my own, my own righteousness, work it out so that, Father, I am getting some results, Lord. I pray that you turn me again to you, Father, because without you we can do nothing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Turn me again to you, Father, that without you we can do nothing. That my dedication and my devotion, O oh God, will be to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it will not be too much, O oh Father, to looking so hard at this world and how I can make it work in this world. But it shall be focused on you, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, turn me again to you. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. You said that in this hard world, oh Father, the thing that we live by is our faith, Lord. It is not by our struggles. It is not by hard, how hard we do it or for how long we stay on it, but it is by faith. Tell me again, O oh God, that I can face you again, that I can look to you again, that I can lift my eyes to you again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, turn me around, O oh Father, where I've been focusing on my strength and my ability, what I have, O oh God, and what I don't. I pray that, Father, I'll focus on you, O oh God, and every provision that you have made. In the name of the Lord Jesus, turn me again, O oh Father, where I have looked to man, O oh Father, for support, where I have looked to, to man, O oh Father, for help. I pray that you tell me again unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that my focus, Lord, my focus will be you in the name of Jesus, that I'll understand that my source is you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tell me again, O Father. Beloved, when we looked at the definition of devotion, it says that I love, I love, I love. I enthusiasm. And Paul said that every day we should present a living sacrifice. It's a continuous thing. It's not a one-time thing. A continuous thing. We want to say that, Father, I bring myself to you, Lord, as an expression of my love to you. As an expression of my love to you. This morning, Lord, I present myself. I present my soul. I present my energy. I present my strength, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as an expression of my love to you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning, O God, I present my attention, Father, as an expression of my love to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning, I turn around, O Father, and I present myself, Lord, to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I come to you, Father, bringing myself saying that I am a tool, I'm an instrument in your hands, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, where you turn me, where you lead me is where I will go. I present myself to you, Father, an expression of my love to you, an expression of my enthusiasm for you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I come, O oh Father. I turn around, O oh Father, for my own efforts. I turn around, O oh Father, for my own ability, and I turn to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I tend to face you, Lord. I present myself. I present my thoughts. I present my imagination, Father. I present my plans. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I present my desires, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I present my ambitions, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I present them this morning, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, an expression of my love to you, Lord. An expression of my focus on you. An expression of my enthusiasm for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that you will take the reins of my heart, Lord. You will take the reins of my life, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I present this morning, Father. I present this morning. Many of us here, I know some don't have jobs, but many of us here, we have jobs. And this morning, we are going to present in our workplaces. We are going to present at our place of work, the place that our bosses have assigned us to do our task. We are going to present there. We are going to be there. We are going to do the task that they're giving us. We are going to put our energies into it. We are going to think about it. Some of us woke up thinking about the work we have to do today. Some of us woke up thinking about the assignments we've been given. Some of us woke up thinking about the things we ought to do. We have school. We are going to present because the school expects us to fulfill some, some, some credit hours, fulfill some, some activities, fulfill some work complete some work. So our focus is on it. Some of us are going to present in this morning. We're going to present ourselves to the work that we are supposed to do, to the work, the school work we're supposed to do. We're going to focus on it. We're going to research on it. Some of us woke up thinking about it. We went to bed thinking about it. But the Lord himself, he says that we should present, Paul says we should present ourselves. We should present our bodies, a living sacrifice, everything that gives us life, everything that is a symbol of life for us. We should present Present it to the living God. We should present it to the living God. A sacrifice to Him. An act of devotion. This morning you want to present your soul. You want to present your mind. You want to present your energy. You want to present 
even your anxieties, beloved. Present them before him, an act of devotion, an act of worship. You are telling him that there's nobody else above you, Lord, who can bring me through from one point to the other. There's nobody else above you, even the work I have to do, even the school activities I have to perform. There's no one else who will move me from point A to point B except you. My devotion, my dedication, my focus is you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning I turn to face you. This morning I bring myself to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, where there are challenges, I bring them to you, Father. I present myself, the things that occupy my mind, the things that occupy my thoughts, the things that occupy my emotions. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the thing that takes my strength, I present them to you, Father. I present myself to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the anxieties of today, the anxieties of tomorrow, we present ourselves to you, Lord. They are the package we are coming with, Lord. That's the whole deal we are, Lord. And we present ourselves to you in the name of the Lord Jesus, in worship of you, in acknowledgement that you are the greatest, that you are the one who can bring us through. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we present it to Father, even in our dedication to you, in our love towards you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in our enthusiasm to meet with you, in in the name of Jesus, in our enthusiasm, Father, that you will reach out to God and, 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 and change things around for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we present ourselves, Lord. Beloved, Paul doesn't say that we should present our spirit. He says we should present our body as we are, as we are. We should present our body holy and acceptable, completely dedicated to him, completely set apart to him, completely cut off from everything else and given to him, completely completely beloved, holding nothing back. We present ourselves to you this morning, Lord. We present ourselves. We turn around from our efforts. We turn around, O oh Father, from our struggles. We turn around, O oh Father, from doing the thing ourselves. And we present ourselves to you. Weak, Lord. Frail, Lord. Haven't missed it a few times. But completely, completely set apart for you. We present ourselves to you this morning. Heavenly Father. He said that if we come to you, you will know why to turn us away. You will not turn us away. We come to you this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. We come to you with our uncertainty, with our frailty. We come to you completely devoted, completely in love with you, Father. We come to you because, Lord, we are enthusiastic to meet with you. In the name of Jesus, we are enthusiastic to meet with you. We are enthusiastic to meet with you, to see your hand at work in our life. We come to you, Lord. We come in the name of Jesus, completely devoted. In the name of Jesus, completely sold out to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, getting ourselves to Father, cutting ourselves away from the things that draw us back in this world to God, completely focused on you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, our act of worship, completely focused on you, knowing that it is only you who makes a move in our life. It is only you, O Father, who can cause a change in our life. Completely in the name of the Lord Jesus, every situation, O Father, that has baffled us, every situation, O God, that we do not see, O God, an end to we come completely, Father, to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every thought, every activity in our heart, in the name of Jesus, every turning, Lord, we bring it completely to you, Father, completely set apart for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, present ourselves this morning. Present ourselves this morning, Father. You know our frailty. You know our weaknesses. And he gave us your Holy Spirit that he would help our infirmity. And with his help, Lord, and in that state, Lord, we present ourselves to you this morning. 
And Lord, you will show yourself strong on our behalf this day and in the days ahead. In the name of Jesus, show yourself strong on our behalf this day and in the days ahead. He said that the just shall live by his faith. This morning, Lord, it is only on our faith, Lord, only on our love for you that we present ourselves, that we bring everything that is an anxiety for us, Lord, where we don't know what tomorrow brings, Father. We present to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't know how the next move will pan out. We present to you, Lord, Rabato ke mangorie, ine ke liye balua la se ke liye ndelebe. Everything, Lord, we bring our focus to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, show yourself strong on our behalf, Lord. In every situation, Lord, in our workplaces, in our in our schools, Father, in our homes, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, every place to God that we will go, in our households, so Father, show yourself strong on our behalf. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in every situation that we face to God, in every circumstance that we are in at this moment, whatever challenge we are meeting, Father, show yourself strong strong on our behalf. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that when we presented ourselves to you this morning, Lord, when we brought it all before you, when we turned our face to look at you, Lord, you stood up on our behalf. You showed yourself strong on our behalf. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May every heart, O oh God, that is anxious, Lord, be at peace. In Jesus' name. May every heart that is anxious, Lord, be at peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak your peace, O oh God, over your people. I speak your peace over your people, Lord. Peace, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your peace, Father. In the name of Jesus, that our minds, O oh God, our eyes, will not be on the storms that are around us, Father, but we shall be focused on you in the name of Jesus. And we shall know your peace even in the storm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak your peace over your people, Lord. I speak your peace, O Father, over their minds and over their hearts, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that that which makes them anxious, Father, shall be stilled in the name of the Lord Jesus. The voices of God that bring anxiety shall be stilled in the name of the Lord Jesus. I speak your peace over your people, Lord. Your peace. Your peace. That it will guard, oh God, and protect their minds and their hearts. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that every voice, oh Father, that brings anxiety shall be stilled and silenced. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak your peace, Lord. That anxiety will be laid to rest, will be removed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have approached you this morning, Father. We have presented ourselves as all that we are. We have turned and we have looked at you. And we'll keep our eyes on you, Father. For you are our love. And our hands and gloves and Father, is to meet with you. Help us through this day, Father. Show us all strong on our behalf. We thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>